you'll never see how toxic someone is ow, ow. until you breathe fresher air. This Jersey girl has the luck of the Irish <laughs> and nobody's screwing with my pot of gold. I may be over the top. Hi! But I'd rather be bougie than basic. I'm a loyal friend <laughs> and a lethal enemy. I'm too busy running a business to care about yours. Payback's a bitch. What do you think? So start barking. Blood may be thicker than water, Love you. but it's harder to clean when it spills. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Flipping the Table. My name is Wellington Gomez. I am your host, and I am here, of course, every week with my co-host. Hi, Kay. Hi, everyone. Can't wait to talk about oh, this one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we were supposed to record, yes, today's Tuesday. No, today's Wednesday, Lord Jesus. Today's Wednesday, <laughs> um, last night. Teresa's getting married special aired and you know usually we come on Wednesdays to record the episode the recap of the episode that just aired but because um but because by surprise or I guess not because of course if the if the special aired then next thing is the reunion so I was expecting the reunion trailer to come out tomorrow uh, yesterday so the reunion trailer dropped and he shook Oof. the world. Yes, indeed. Oh my God. Like the reunion, the reunion is gonna be better than the entire season, honestly. And you know what? The Real Hospitals of New Jersey is always like that. They have um what I would say is a, a okay season. It's not super dramatic, it's not super stale i think the reason why they get that okay season status is because it's a lot of drama that carries on from the season before so we kind of feel like even though yes they're arguing and yes they're turning up it's the same mess it's the same situation so we don't have a feeling of like it's something new and that's why i feel like some people don't really enjoy jersey because of the fact that it's so repetitive right. um but I will say that New Jersey always delivers when it comes to their reunions. You remember <laughs> when the trailer dropped when the trailer dropped for last season's reunion? And it yes. was and last season's reunion was amazing. And was. the season and the season before that, the COVID season, when it was just two parts, it was one of the best reunions in that lineup of housewives that we were watching at the time. So I'm not surprised that this trailer was, you know, gagging. Um, yeah. Oh my God. Before we play it and we discuss, what was your feeling when you first saw it? Like when I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is going to be so good. And I definitely think that people thought about next season when they came right. to the reunion. Uh, and I think a couple of people were trying to like solidify, you know, contracts for next season. Uh, I think a lot of people went back and did a lot of research uh, so that they could have things to be able to bring to the reunion. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I thought I thought it I thought it was going to be like dragging because it was going to be the same old. But no, it looks like it's going to be good. And I actually can't wait to watch it. And I it was just, I mean, oh, my gosh. Listen, listen. Let me, let me, let me just get my 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 shake. <laughs> I want, I want to be seated for this. I want to have my drink next to me. Here we go. Jersey reunite. So here we go. I know you hate me, but just try to control yourself. Ooh. For a dramatic three-part reunion. You're a devil. Oh you are a criminal, and You're so is he. Sleep with one eye open. You're nasty in your car. Don't take your insecurities out on me. My balls drag out the door. Out the door where you leave. Old hag Nancy. She's just old. You old lady energy. I don't give two <laughs> about that. I care about private investigators. He needs to defend himself by having a folder on all of us. Now I got your car. Really, John? I got connections. Big ones. Wait, wait. I got your number. Wait. Production just got a call from the security person downstairs. Who you hired? 
I don't know why that's such a big deal. He's trying to come up because we got death threats last week, Andy. Oh, dear God, we're at delusionals, like, highest level. I can't wait to never look at your face again after today. Oh, yeah. why? Where are you going? You're leaving. Oh, I am? I got to get off the f***ing circus. Yeah, I do. The nice Jewish girls That's have arrived. Right. The nice Jewish girls. <laughs> I didn't know it was so horrible to think that I slept with James. Care. Like I'm, I don't care. And it wasn't always this old hat. No. Back to the drama. <laughs> Frank still lives with David. Frank did build the house. Someone yeah, built my house, too. He's not staying with me. <laughs> Look who's calling me, Joe Judas. Wow. I love yes. that they have a relationship. Yeah, Trey, as Jennifer's husband, Bill, if he does uh, bags under your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> How long has Polly been divorced? He's not. He's I hope not. He's not, he's he's not legally on, divorced. On, 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 on. It's been how long since you spoke to your brother? Three years, but I'm actually going to see him tomorrow. Now that was a guess. Do you ever feel guilty for ignoring your family? There's really no good alternative. Jaden's birth mother recently spoke to some blogs. She was contacted because of Louie. What? Why? My child was called and threatened at work. He would never do that. But it's right here. He's a man. Did you or did you not hire Bo Dito to do a slander campaign against me and Joe Gorga? Absolutely not. Louie, you have no credibility. We know everything. I know everything. Let's, Let's play. play. Jacqueline told me so much <laughs> that you and my brother were doing. Who? Florida? Yes. You suddenly standing for Jacqueline is it's like so the joke weird. of the century. I don't care, Andy. You think oh, Melissa put right. you in jail? Oh my God. I spoke to the FBI <laughs> because of what you've done. Oh, oh, what are you threatening me? I'm speaking the truth. That's a lie. Prove it. Let him talk. Door, door to me a quarter. Do you understand? Oh, uh, you broke my heart a long time ago. <laughs> this is disgraceful. I know. I just can't. I really this can't. Is so sad. You should be ashamed of yourself. And don't come following me. Get up. Oof. All right. Don't come stop. following me. Joe was still sitting in the seat. Oh, listen. Let me just say this. Like I'm not like a Teresa stand, and I and mm -hmm. I I don't not like her. Like I like Teresa, but I'm not like a hardcore like fan. Mm -hmm. But when I say that she looks good on this reunion, like that hair, like I love her with this short hair. Teresa, she keep looks that really short good. hair. Oh my gosh, like it makes her look like a totally different person, like light and airy. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like I love that short hair on her. Ooh. No, she looks really good. Um, this trailer gagged me. So let's get into it. First of all, clearly the women get into it when it comes to Louis. And I think that if Louis um, hadn't gone rogue towards the end of the season, Teresa could have came out of the season with more power to her. Let me explain. I think that the moment that Teresa, in a way, gave the ball to the Gorgas to finish the season was when Louis decided to, like, not give a fuck anymore and that he was done also with the Gorgas. I feel like if Louis would have stayed in the same energy that he was last season, which was, like, peacemaker and, you know, like getting Teresa getting Teresa to like see the other side of things and yada 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 I feel like people would be would be less on top of Teresa about this whole situation but I think that because also Louis joining in um people are super people are super upset about Louis however if Melissa can have Joe then Teresa can have Louis and I don't understand what's the big deal about Louis getting involved when Clearly, all of the men on this show get involved in the drama for seasons and seasons and seasons and seasons and seasons. And seasons. So we discussed this in the last episode that we recapped. If Louis had a, has a friend, a best friend of his, that is a private investigator and Louis on a show, I do not think it's far-fetched that his friend, the private investigator, gave oh, him information the, about everything. What do we get? 
because I mean he was he was they were questioning him all last season and he had to prove himself so much. So I feel like if I see my friend going through all of this with a bunch of randoms, I'm a, and I'm a private investigator, I'm gonna give you the tea, honey. But that's what he kind of signed up for. Like, here's my thing: you you hire private investigators because you want to know information because you're trying to prove something. What is it that you're trying to prove? Like, what what do you need this information for? You know what I'm saying? Not that I feel like he found out anything on anybody, right? right. Like, at the end of the day, you know, we he could sit and go back and forth about businesses and bad businesses. I mean, they've all done it. They've all been there. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not quite sure what information he feels like he's got and how he feels like that affects them. I don't, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, I that that's my only thing about the private investigator thing. And then my thing is also about that is to act like, you know, you know, Teresa that went around the whole season, her and Jennifer talk about March and this arsenal when your man went and got a private investigator on everybody. You get what I'm saying? Right, it's in the right, same right. vein. So I don't think that you should have spun this entire season about an arsenal knowing that your husband had went and got a private investigator you know what i'm saying right. like so that that that's my issue and it's like louis like honestly at the end of the day uh, to, to honestly you're nobody to, it's teresa right like mm -hmm. teresa is who makes you honestly um mm -hmm. without her i mean you would be nobody right so that's why right. i don't understand right. why he needed to get a private investigator honestly um yeah i think that I think that Louis probably thought, you know, these women are going to come for Ter I mean, he said this on the Sherry show because um Louis and Teresa did a press tour to promote the wedding special. Um, and he was asked about the things the things that are going on in the season and how he feels about the other women and why they always come for Teresa. And he said that, you know, he knows that these women are trying to come for her throne. So I feel like going into the going into the season and going into the reunion, he probably felt like I do need some stuff. I do need to bring the receipts. And I also like this is the era of receipts. After Monique <laughs> brought that binder out, the girls do not, show, especially if you have the first chair, the girls do not show up without their receipts anymore. After Monique brought that Bendango binder that ended Giselle at the season five reunion of the Real Housewives of Potomac. If you have not watched. Please go watch. Please go watch. <laughs> I mean, she had a whole um, Right. R right. And she bedazzled it. Like, it was a whole scrapbook, like, situation. <laughs> um, now, the, now the girls be using their money, and they be bringing bulletin boards and, you know, all of the extras. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, no, I think that that's why, again, Louis was very on go. Also, I don't know why they even brought Jackie and Jen Fessler out. No shade. Like, it's it, it's no shade, but we got bigger fish to fry. Like, I really don't care. I, I, even if they brought them out, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them the grace. They were friends of whatever. It better not be more than they brought out Jacqueline on Potomac. Because if they only uh, brought out Jacqueline in Potomac for 20 minutes when she was one of the yeah. main, yeah. one of the main storylines of half of the season these girls better come out for 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 five you know what they need to get cut out out of the reunion and this is all we got like the trailer did. right yeah because i mean honestly i don't i don't know what um they would even have what are they going to contribute to the conversation yeah. jackie it's it's also produce from the producer standpoint i wouldn't want to bring out jackie and jen fessler out because Jackie's going to be to melissa and jen fessler is going to be to margaret there's no like bringing two more people that are gonna sit on the left side of, uh, on the left side of the reunion to go against Jennifer and Teresa. It's uh, and Danielle. It's like I don't know why always. Said she was queen beat them, so she should be able to handle it. Okay, but does that mean that you gotta take on every? I mean, maybe I not. Feel like everybody. This is always something that constantly happens on on. I feel like this is something that constantly happens on Jersey, which is they cast a bunch of friends of that are usually not Teresa's friends. Look at the girl from last season when they casted Tracy. They were supposed to cast another girl. Remember that? Did she didn't make it? 
but she was in, in in a bunch of scenes. Her name was like Caroline Caroline Russo or something. Um, she was supposed to be Teresa's friend. Didn't make it on the show. What? Give Teresa a friend. Give Teresa a friend. If you're gonna give the other side a friend, give Teresa a friend. Like I just don't like it because I don't like to see unfair fights. I like housewives reunions when two housewives can duke it out and go at it with each other and either come to resolution or not but it's them two duking it out i don't like it when four other housewives jump in all on one and then the other side they stay quiet yeah like my see, whole thing that's, is, that's my issue jennifer like jennifer should be going off dolores should be going off and danielle should be going off if the entire left couch is gonna talk against Teresa and come down on her then the Protect her. Dolores is Dolores is kind of she's neutral, honestly. Like she's friends with both sides. But she's gonna have to pick a side because I'm tired of that. She's gonna have you don't think Dolores has to pick a side? No, I'm not gonna make make that lady pick a side because first of all, they 50 old women, they ain't gotta pick no side. But I do think that she needs to do a better job of being if she's gonna be neutral. I think that she needs to do a better job of being a mediator between the sides. I will say that, yeah. but I don't think she necessarily has to choose because she's friends with all of them. Like, I'm not going to choose between two friends that are, are fighting to be fine. I can still be your friend and be your friend. However, I do feel like it would be my job to kind of... Now, not, I'm not talking about between um, Melissa and Teresa and Joe. Like, nobody mm. needs to be in the middle of that. I'll talk about Marge and yeah, you know, yeah. th that side of the couch. Like, I feel like yeah. she could be a better mediator between those two sides. Right. No, I agree. Um, but I, it's, it's just always something that I notice. you know, Teresa always backs up Jennifer and Jennifer always backs up Teresa. And I do feel like they have an alliance going into when, into filming and reunions, of course. And I like that because don't get me wrong. Jennifer is very witty and Jennifer is also very aware of the social media game, even though she's not, she hasn't been on social media this season as much as she's been in past seasons, but Jennifer is very aware of the social media game. She's very aware of the audience game. And she's very aware of the fact that the other girls like to play in confessionals. They like to play in the after show and they like to stare mass. They all do not just the other girls. They all do. But I think that she also sees when she sees that, Teresa's catching a bunch of strays, she jumps in. I hate, I hope that Danielle jumps in, and, and I hope that it's not a left side versus Teresa and left side versus Jennifer, and then no one is like, no, assist, assist, because then also, like, that's too much, and the reason why I don't like that is because sometimes I do feel like Teresa and Jennifer have valid, like, valid <laughs> points, but because no one else co-signs them, it just, it just doesn't even go anywhere. You know, like, I will say I did like how Melissa, like on the show, you know, when Danielle and Marge were getting into it, like, you know, she was she's Marge's friend, but she also told Marge that no, you you have it out for the wrong people, the wrong person. So you know, I think the one thing about Jersey is they can get together and they can cool by y'all, they can have fun. But they also argue as well. Like, you know, some cats, they argue so much that even when they go and have fun, it's like so fake that you can't even believe that they're having fun. Right, like sometimes right. with Jersey, like they do get that part of it right. Like they, you know, still go out and they laugh and they joke around and stuff like that, which is what I like mm -hmm. about them. Um, and I don't know, like it's... I don't know what they're going to do for next season. But I, I mean, I definitely hear you and I get you because like you said, Teresa, you know, only has one person and mm -hmm. then, you know, Dolores, she's, she also takes up for Teresa, but not in the whole sense of the, like the Gorga drama, because I think she knows right. that in the middle of that. And I wish everybody else knew better like she did. Right. How, how, what was your opinion? your thoughts when you saw Teresa tell Melissa I am so fucking ready to never see your face ever again and Melissa's like why where are you going she's like nowhere you're leaving <laughs> I mean I can not really think nothing of it I know social media is buzzing like oh my gosh so like she really digged her like she fired her from the show and it's like I, Teresa don't have no power to fire nobody because if she would have she right. would already been 
already been fired to him. Uh, but I do like how she, you know, hit the ball back. Like, you know what I mean? It was like kind of like mm -hmm. a, a back and forth. Um, so I did like that. Like, cause you know, sometimes Teresa, she's maybe not as quick uh, and as witty, uh, but I, I like the fact that she was able to catch the ball and, you know, throw it all back to yeah, her. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. So, I, you know. I, I thought, I don't always like when housewives do that because it gives production the, the power to like either prove you wrong or make an example out of you. Or sometimes, sometimes in the Real Housewives of Orange County, when um, <laughs> Heather Dubrow basically fired, I think Heather Dubrow fired um, Alexis or something. Like she was like <laughs> at a reunion, like this is the last time that I will see you or something like that. Um, and it happened, you know, Heather came back, Alexis didn't. And um, in, in, if, if it's not that, it's going to be the opposite. And then it's going to make you look very, very, very stupid that you said that. So I really hope that sure. in order to in order to save Teresa's image as, you know, an, an iconic housewife that has given so much to just, you know, the world of housewives, please don't let mama look stupid. And she's the one that gets fired instead. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I just I can't see them firing either side, honestly. Like, mm -hmm. should they? So, I, you know I, what? At I the end of the season. Like, I don't think that they the... should fire either side, but I do think that they should. I'm going to say this real quick. They should put a cease and desist on this. Like, we, you're not talking about this next season. <laughs> right, 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 right. No, I, at the end of the season, I said, okay, um, before the party, I was like, we can we can move forward, but I think this is the problem. I think that towards the beginning of the season, and honestly, I will say even last season, we see conversations and women in Potomac getting together pre-filming to strategize on how they're going to film their season, etc. It's not far-fetched that other women are doing this too. Right. And knowing the women that are part of the Real Houses of New Jersey cast, I 100% feel confident that they also strategized before they start filming and before they, they do things. I feel like Melissa, Margaret, and I don't know who else, agreed that this was going to be a Teresa takedown season and that they were going to go all out. And I don't think that was the best idea because you think that the reason, the reason you think that the, going all out with Teresa and putting all of her dirty secrets out there and, 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 you know, from what we see from this trailer, making her walk away crying to the point that she's like, don't follow me. You think that that's going to make you win? We saw the ratings of Teresa get, get, uh, gets married come out almost a million in the ratings. Teresa brings ratings. If Teresa gets fired and you get your way, I think the show is going to flop. I don't think that you guys, like, I don't think they understand the, the impact that legitimately taking Teresa off this show could, could have. So I think that it was a, it was a bad strategy for them to go all the way out and strike down on Teresa because, frankly, we're at the point that there's no moving forward. I don't see how production can bring back cameras around and have Melissa and Teresa at the same space. I don't. I that would be too fake because there's so much hurt, specifically specifically from what we just saw. There's so much hurt and so much and, and so much shit was said. How can you really but move this, forward? But this happens every year, though. You get what I'm saying? Like, hey, is there, why, I feel it, like this year they went a little harder. And I mean, and I, I don't think so. Like, I feel like if every year it's the same thing, we argue, we argue, we argue, we argue, we make up, we argue, we argue, we argue, we make up. It's that's honestly, that's going to be them for the rest of <laughs> their lives. It is. And it's sad that it's going to be that way. But the reason why it's going right. to be that way is because they feel like it's something to win. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. why they can't mm -hmm. get over this because if one side backs down, then the other side gonna feel like they won. And I can't make I can't let her feel like she done won or he done won. You get what I'm saying? Because on, honestly, the beef 
that Teresa has is the fact that Joe is married to Melissa. That's that's what the real beef is, honestly. She don't like Melissa. She don't think Melissa You believe is good. that? I do. It's, th th that's the start of the beef. And then it then there's just layers and layers and layers, you know what I mean, upon, upon the beef. Because if the beef was just between her and Joe, then I don't see why she would go so hard on Melissa. You get what I'm saying? I, like, Yeah, right, right. I mean, Joe's not the one on the show. So, like, I feel like the reason why she goes true. hard on, 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 on Melissa is because that's the one that she's filming the show with. But I that's do true. think that's that... Important. When we first saw this original story between Mer Melissa and Teresa and all of the things that went down from season three all the way on, that was super real. And I think that that was super, like, valid, that th the stuff that was happening. And I think that, as we know, Teresa was going through a lot with Joe Judas. And I think that she saw her brother have such a great relationship with Melissa and I think that there was some je jealousy there back then you know I think that when, when when you see someone doing something or having something that you wish you had that sometimes creates toxic thoughts in your head and you can act out in different ways and I think that's why Teresa was shady with the cookies that's why Teresa was shady about you know starting rumors about Melissa being a stripper all of this stuff like I think that's why Teresa was shady back then. And I will definitely say that back then, Teresa was really pressed and bothered by Melissa because Melissa and Joe were the epitome of what Teresa wanted. And she knew that inside her house, she was going through turmoil. She suspected Joe was cheating, but didn't catch him. You know, Joe wasn't a good husband and was super mean and disrespectful. You know, she was going through a lot. So, however, I will say that after the entire um, going to jail, right. coming back, Joe getting deported, I do think that, that Teresa focused on moving on. Mm -hmm. And I think that the moment she met Louis, she completely did, like, she completely stopped any hate that she ever had from Melissa. Because she, so. I do, because I think that Mel Teresa's. Teresa's internal jealousy with Melissa and Teresa's problem with Melissa is, is that the fact that she was jealous of her lifestyle back then. And I think that when she got Louie and she got that partner that she always wanted, I think she, she, I think Teresa legitimately forgot about everybody else when she met Louie. Like she did not now, care about anything else. I, I will say, I, you I, know, I think she was madly so, and crazy in love with that man. I, I definitely think that and, and to her, nothing else really mattered. But I think, at the root cause or the bottom of all of this, like I totally agree, like especially with those beginning, you know, seasons and stuff. But I, mm -hmm. it all really boils down to her brother, honestly. Like I feel mm -hmm. like if 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 Joe wasn't married to Melissa, her and Joe would have a, have an awesome relationship. But but because she feels like Melissa uh, puts Joe up to certain things and makes him not talk to her, because she says stuff like this. Like, I think right. that's why she doesn't like, you know, Melissa, because she thinks that Melissa is getting in between her and her brother's relationship. But I mean, it's that's a valid thing. And I feel like if with my sister and, you know, her husband and I feel if I was to feel the same way that Teresa feels, I would legitimately go up to my sister and say, you need to check your man because when me and you argue, he don't need to be in our business. And that's just, I feel like that's some real shit that happens in real life. Like, I don't have no problem with him. Love him to that. We kiki, all of that. But with me and you having a sibling argument, with me, me and you discussing yep. our family shit, it's between me and you. Yep. The, the other way around as well, you know? I feel yep. like that is uh, that is how you handle that situation. And I also feel like Teresa should could have checked Melissa on some even more realer, like, you need to mind your fucking business. And when I'm talking to Joe and when I'm having a conversation with Joe, you need to mind your fucking business because this is between me and my brother and you need to yep. shut the fuck up and let us fix it. I get it. You're his wife, but stand quiet. I, mean, I feel like Melissa Pollard would love to be out of it, honestly. But I, I feel like if, they, if, if, if the three of them are in it, it's no fixing. I really no. think that in, in order for them to somehow get away from it, 
and move on. Melissa legitimately has to make the decision to stay out of that and legitimately stay out of it. Like legitimately yeah. stay out of it. Like for your own good. And I think that would be good for her. For yeah. her to like, I mean, take her out of this I situation. I would already put my hands up, honey. Listen, I don't got no dog in this fight. I love you. I'm going to support you. You know what I mean? As my husband. But this is between you and your sister. I don't want to hear about it no more. I've been with this right. man for 20 years. I don't want to hear about it any longer. And That's you know what? what? I, I actually say. now that you now that we're having this conversation again, we we were saying at the beginning of the episode, like, how do we think we can move forward, and you know what can happen? I actually think that I just came to a realization. I feel like if Melissa and Teresa film a sit down, and Melissa come in comes in with the attitude and the energy of legitimately wanting to let those things go and let it be about Teresa and Joe. And she tells Teresa, listen, I'm tired of this. I don't want to keep fighting these battles. I've realized that me being involved in this is not doing any good to me. It's not doing any good to the situation with you and your brother. And frankly, I'm not trying to lose my job on this show. So I'm not going to keep arguing with you about the same thing when, you know, we already know how that's that's going. Right. Moving forward, your re the relationship with your brother is on you. I will no longer talk about you with him. I will yeah. no longer even key key with him. And I also feel like she needs, and Melissa needs to emphasize that even when she's filming with Joe, like, and have the same sit down with him. I will no longer talk about your sister. I will no longer mediate between you and your sister. I will have a relationship with your sister. I will be cordial with her. And it's not, it's not going to be no beef from my side. But you have to handle that on your own. And I don't yep. want to hear about it. Don't tell me on camera. Don't, yep. don't, don't talk to me about it. Don't ask me for an opinion. No. And I feel like if it becomes that, then we can actually get somewhere. I agree. But... If not, then I don't think we can get anywhere. Also, why why is Rachel Fuda saying that her child got contacted because of... Uh, uh, so Andy asked her that the child's birth mother recently came into the picture and tried to contact the child, I guess. And she said that that was because of Louis. Of course, we don't know why she said that. So we're going to get into it when we watch the reunion. And But I thought that was weird. Um, so far-fetched because Rachel... Teresa had no issues with you all season. So, like, why would Louis even be somewhat, like, wanting to look into Rachel? Or, like, I feel like, honestly, well, he no said, shade. He, he, said he, had, he said he had some on everybody on the show. But I don't think that that the birth <laughs> mother called because of Louis. I think that Rachel no. Fuda she called because and... She, got that. Yeah, they, she called because she saw y'all... She, she called because she saw y'all on reality <laughs> TV getting a check <laughs> over her story. <laughs> that's why she called there she called go. because she saw that you getting paid for telling her story so she wants to get paid she wants to yeah. she wants to go to the blogs and sell stories too that's why she called and yeah throwing that on louis time out i gotta blow my nose <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go ahead go ahead go ahead Okay. Um, and to throw that on Louis, it's kind of like weird. Again, we haven't seen this, so we will we will give yeah. our full I opinions when we it. see it. Yeah. But trying to watch it was giving it was giving. I'm trying to save my spot on this couch, and we already know that she's a fan, so she's thinking. It was giving, I don't want you to come back, honestly. I, I could do without her, and I honestly could do without Danielle. Honestly, like I feel, I feel like she, I feel like the newbies had so much promise at the beginning, but then I don't know. Like as the season went on, like outside of the feuds, they didn't really have nothing that's going on. Like I don't, I don't. Know. I feel like, like I, honestly, I. I feel like yes, Danielle probably didn't have a, such a strong season, but I feel like if we're talking, if we're if we're looking at the progress report of both newbies, I feel like Danielle had the better performance when it comes to her freshman season. I feel like she did have a storyline, whether it was the same as Teresa, she can help the fact that she doesn't fuck with her brother either. You know what I'm saying? And she can help the fact that that is also, and it's also bigger than Teresa at this point because the brother doesn't even talk to his own mother. That's like 
there's a lot there, you know? So she had that situation going on. She was messy. She carried bones. So I will say Danielle earned herself a second season. I don't think Rachel earned herself a second season. I mean, like I said, I could do without without either one of them. I don't, I don't, I, I can't really see what Rachel, I mean, I said Rachel, I can't really see what Danielle's gonna bring to the next season other than the story with her brother since she was supposed to be meeting him the next day after the reunion taping. Right. Uh, you know that, what I'm saying? That was gagful. Right. Do you think um, it's gonna happen on camera? I hope if, I if she if if she if they're gonna bring her back, then it gotta be on camera. It gotta be. Right. Because I, and right. I wonder if she reached out or if he re he reached out. Right, right. Because if right. he reached out, now I'm kind of wondering after all this time, why did you reach out? Because she on TV now. You I mean, now? let's get a check. Let's er, let's let's work on our problems and fuck it. Let's get a check while we at it. Yeah. Why not? I mean, you know, they could get a second You're... season. You know, I'm all for. I don't I don't like when people come in for one season. We don't give them a chance. You know, yeah. so both of them come back. I'm just not thrilled to see them. Right. No, I, I completely, I, and I also feel the same way. Um, I just think that Danielle did better than Rachel, but. Bill yeah. and, um, and um, Jennifer, like, what do you, what you, how do you think? And, uh, and again, we don't know how in the mm -hmm. context of what she said, what he said, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but do you think that it was in the context of them talking about their marriage or do you think he could have been like making a comment towards something else? No, I think that was such a produced moment because. Jen and Bill are not getting no divorce. Like, let's oh. let's just keep that. I mean, let's just a, keep I, that. That's just a cultural thing, too, though. Yeah, they, right. Like, that's not even because they don't want to get a divorce. They probably hate each other, but they're not gonna get a divorce, and that's because it's a cultural thing. Like, I don't think Jennifer will, uh, would never leave that man, and sure. I think that she would. I think that love Jennifer to death, love her to death. I think she's a great housewife, and uh, and I think she's a great person from what I've seen, but. I do think that if it got to the point where they really were thinking about breaking up or anything, Jen would either really kneel into it because of the show or act like it's not happening because she doesn't want she doesn't want it on top of her. I think it would be I think it will be it will be um either or I don't think they're getting a divorce. I think she they were probably talking about something else and it was just a moment to produce into the trailer. Um also Margaret is so smart, so I hate when she says things that she knows that it's like, why she said, also, my child was contacted and threatened at work. You don't have a child. Yeah, your child about 40 years old. Yeah, like, you don't have a child, so stop trying to make it seem, <laughs> language matters, stop trying to make it seem like some child was taken advantage of. You have a right. son, he's a man, and do you even talk to him? It's, it's like... Yeah, I, I I don't think you need to be talking. No, about no, it's people. really no shade. Like when she brings up her Bro, son, I'm like, yeah, I thought I thought you didn't talk. Bring it up, bring it up her kids. Just, just. I'm like, I thought talk I thought about kids, Mars, just look away. Like you don't even know what's happening. I'm like, I thought you didn't you didn't talk. So now your son is telling you that supposedly so that he's getting threatened at work because of Louis. Like, what? Now if now if somehow, I mean maybe it's he could true. have been calling his mom and saying. Somebody contacted me and asked me a bunch of questions about you. Like, you know, like I as a if I wasn't talking to my mom or uh, my parent and somebody out of the blue called me and asked me about my parent and asked me a bunch of questions, like I probably would call my parent and be like, hey, you know, what's going on? They called to ask me, like, I don't even talk to you, so I'm, I'm, I'm confused. You know what I said? But do I think that happened? Absolutely not. Like, yeah, again, no, I don't. I don't. I, uh, what the man named Joe Beto, Bob Beto, what the Bib, Bib Beto? Whatever his name is, listen, sir. I, <laughs> please get that man name a rush. All y'all doing is trying to run up that man business. That's exactly why Louis brought him up. Well, him and Louis trying to go into business together. Well, let me. I was gonna point that out because usually when people when people talk about people off camera, if they don't sign a release, they usually bleep out their name. You know. Right. So the fact that this name is being thrown around so much, it's like, oh, this people. This, <laughs> You know, like this people, he he doesn't want, he has no problem with the situation being discussed. Um, and even Frank would, had kind of got into it. It's like, yes, you know. and supposedly, this is some tea. Um, supposedly, Frank came crazy at Louis, and the reason why he did is because 
if you remember, Louis gave Frank Jr. um a job and they were working okay. together. And supposedly that didn't end really well. And there was some mess with that. So Frank, ever since that, Frank is not fucking with um, Louis. And he's been, like, trying to call him out on it because it's his son. Supposedly, Teresa, I mean, Dolores gets asked if how she feels about that. And she doesn't uh-huh. say anything and she keeps it neutral that she doesn't know what they're talking about. I mean, I don't know. This is I this is all alleged yeah. and that we heard from our friends over uh all about the Real Housewives podcast, and they were they had a, a tip, and that's what someone said. Um I mean, which I'm makes for, sense. I mean, I'm I'm here for Frank going going hard for his kid. Look. You know, I mean, yeah, it's your son. That's you should... my kid over or something like that. Like, yeah, we yeah. ain't got no more kids with each other. So. Right. I, and I could definitely see Frank saying, son. like, listen, I have uh, this, I have no, mm, I don't have a lot going on. Let me get into <laughs> it, you know? Right, so yeah. I, I, it, I definitely see that. But I oh. wanted to make this point um, about the trailer. After watching the trailer, and when I saw like the trailer opening with, Teresa calling Margaret the devil and Margaret calling Teresa a criminal. You and him. People, people keep asking the question of the day after the trailer drop is who's going to leave New Jersey, Melissa or Teresa? I think the actual question we should be asking is, is Margaret going to leave New Jersey? I think that if Margaret leaves the show, Teresa and Melissa can actually get somewhere. I think that if, yeah. I think that, I don't, I, let's say, Let's say Melissa gets Melissa gets fired, right? I don't want to see another season of Margaret and Teresa as well. I don't want to see Margaret, Teresa, and, and Melissa in the same situation. That's, I'm that's, tired. That's what I'm saying. Like it's, it's I'm like tired. they all gotta go or they all gotta stay. That that unfortunately, it's like they all work or they don't work. You know what I'm saying? Because one. But I think be before honest, I, th- I th- before I. Th- before I throw out the iconic family that has carried this show for seasons, I will throw away Margaret. But see, Marge bring the drama, though. And I think they would miss that if Marge wasn't there. Because Dolores, I mean, uh, I mean, she had her little drama with Jackie, but that wasn't really nothing. Sorry. Like, Dolores, she, she that's what I say. I don't, they keep on talking about Patterson, Dolores, I mean. Right, I'm, they, I've never seen it. I've never, never and, seen and, and, it. And I don't think we ever gonna see it. See it, and I don't yeah. think that Patterson Dolores is what they think. Yeah, a and, hardcore type of person would be. But, right, right. Let me just. Right. So she's not breaking no drama. So the drama, the only drama you would then have would definitely just be Melissa and you know Teresa. Hopefully they squash and we don't even have no drama there. But if other than that, you don't have really have no other points of contingency for right. anybody else to have any drama. So I think that's also why they keep her around is because they know that she's going to bring the drama. But mm-hmm. also back to what you were saying, how you know they sit down, whether they sit down with each other, whether they sit down with their spouse or by themselves. Everybody is, is figuring out how they're going to be for the next season, right? And yeah. I think that you know, they like you said, they all do it. You know, who, are, who what character am I going to play this season? What drama am I going to bring up this season? And I think that Marge is that person that's going to consistently, you know, keep the drama going, even though it's tiring and we don't like it. And sometimes she, you know, does go way below the belt, um, you know. But I, I think, again, without her, I don't, I don't, because Jennifer's not going to bring any drama. I mean, the only drama she would bring is on the coattails of, you know, Teresa because she wouldn't have anybody else to have any drama with. Right, right, right. No, you make some valid points. Um, I definitely want to know what our listeners have to say about this trailer. Please let us know. Um, we are very excited for the reunion. It's about to be a hell of a ride. Um, so yeah, let us know what you guys thought about the trailer. Um, follow us on Instagram at flipping the table pod and follow us on Instagram as well at the reality rundown. If you're a fan of reality TV, also go on Twitter 
and follow the Reality Rundown on Twitter. And yep. it's at Reality Rundown underscore. Again, I'm going to repeat that. At Reality Rundown underscore. We're right now running a poll. And basically, we're running our Real Houses of New Jersey season 13 exit poll. And it's a bunch of questions about the season. Um, so make sure you guys go on there. The poll is going to be running for six days. Ooh. Be into next, into part one. So there's a bunch of questions there. We want to know what you guys have to say. And we and we really want to bring bring this results back to the episode because I feel like it will let us know what the fans think and how, how the show should move on. So yeah. again, go on Twitter at reality rundown underscore. And it's the first post is pinned to our profile. So go on there and vote. On the seat on the Real Houses of New Jersey season 13 exit poll because yes. it's some interesting questions out there. Any other thoughts, Kay? Nope, I'm ready. I can't wait. I'm, I'm actually ready for the reunion, but I'm also ready for after the reunion so that Me we too. can kind of see maybe what goes on when they're not filming. Um, mm -hmm. and you know, I don't know, maybe, you know, they'll sit down and they'll have a conversation and they'll be able to kind of move forward. Um, but I, I think they, they, they need a professional if they are going to, um, even attempt to attempt to do that. Oh uh, so. yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be a lot, which I am not surprised that the production company's putting the show on pause and yeah. not continuing yeah. filming right away. It, they have to. They have it. People have producers have to legitimately sit down and think um, how they're gonna move forward. Yep. Uh, yeah. um, thank you so much for listening, you guys. Again, yes, thank um, you. make sure you guys subscribe to our podcast so you don't miss any episodes, and make sure you guys are following us on all socials so you don't miss any of our news. Kate, thank you so much for joining again. Um, we're gonna record the recap for Teresa gets married sometime this week so we can get it out to you guys before the reunion starts and we're also going to try to get some other people to join for the reunion recaps so if you guys have any commentators that you guys like to hear from and or the podcast that you guys enjoy let us know we can probably invite them on our show and yeah. do an episode together so let us know um thank you Kay I'll see you next week absolutely it's a pleasure as always Bye.